Hello everybody and welcome back to the Valley of the Old Farm. Today we're going to be doing something not necessarily different but something much bigger scale than what we have done before on this map. And that thing which we're going to do today is some forestry. And uh, well you're probably thinking, hang on wait you did forestry just a few days ago. Well we did, we used an axe which was absolutely brilliant, I did enjoy using an axe, it's very different. Uh, but today we're going to go to the extreme, uh, well the other extreme. Now, when I say a pretty big scale, I, I mean more the length of the trees rather than the amount of trees that we're going to do. We're going to try and fill a fairly long log trailer, um, if we can do. This, of course, does mean fitting a front loader to this tractor. As you can see, this is the trailer in front of us, and it's fairly big. It's fairly long. Uh, I have used it before. I've used it once before on... Um, one of my maps, which one was it? PGR Bruster, I think. I used it in one episode, and it was actually very good. So yeah, the first stop is going to be the forest, and then we're going to continue with the fence over to the shop, and we're going to buy the uh, the larger of the two front loaders. I think we'll just have it in the standard base colour. We could colour match, I suppose it depends on how much money it's going to cost us. Uh, but we'll, we'll see. We'll uh, decide when we get there. So the forest we're going to is actually the same forest as before. I think we're probably going the exact same place as well. It was a very good place to go to actually. And it's just here. We will also load up the Unimog as well. I think what we'll do is we'll create some manageable sizes which we can pick up by hand. Um, because we can't, yeah, we can't really fit much in there. It's just an extra. Anything we can get in there is a bonus. But as for the trailer, yep. I want to get it really full. I want to see if we can get it to the top. I don't really know how high you can go safely. I, obviously we all know that logs are very heavy. So there's going to be a capacity issue, a weight capacity issue, if we go too high. In fact it will probably be overloaded before it's too tall. Overloaded in weight before it's overloaded in height. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see how we go. You never know, I might be so rubbish at doing it with the front loader. That I just give up, but that would just be, uh, yeah, worst case scenario. Hopefully, it doesn't come to that. Giving up is not a good thing to do. You must try and try again. Never listen to what Homer Simpson says, which is, if something's too hard to do, it's not worth doing. It might sound very tempting, but no, seriously, no, <laughs> not the approach to take. So I wonder if we can go this way. I think we can do actually. Yeah, we can go through the Ford. It's a very deep ford, it's more like going through the river actually. Just straight through the river. Uh, still fun though. And then eventually it's going to bring us out at the the road somewhere. I've done it before but I sort of went the wrong way. It will be easier doing it this way because obviously we're following the road, we're not trying to join it. We'll have to turn right and then turn right again, then do the sudden left and then we'll be eventually at the vehicle store. So let's just see. See if my theory is correct. Uh, yes, it's just before the pedestrian crossing. And then we do the turn right, turn left thing just here. Very, very simple. Okay, you can't really see. I suppose when head tracking would be good. Oh, crikey, that was, uh, that was very close. Anyway, yeah, here we are. So it really shouldn't cost us too much money. I'm hoping it won't do. And speak to the salesman or woman. And let's just see front loaders. This one here is the one it's going to go for because it's taller. I think it's taller. There's definitely a difference. And yeah, if we're going to go with a fence color, I suppose it's this kind of color for this fence. Oh, it's only 200 pounds. It's only 200 extra. Let's just confirm. Is it the right color? Hard to say. It is actually a very strong green so maybe that is a bit too washed out uh, well I'll buy it anyway if I do get it wrong then well I'm sure we can live with it and then this is the worst thing of all I've still got the um, the basic log ground which I, I really shouldn't do maybe I should download the pack now I would prefer to use a different log grab log fork yes I think it would be a wise thing to do Right, so there we go. This is the CSZ pack, which many people have recommended to me before. And there is absolutely no reason at all why I haven't used it before. I really should have done, because I've heard such amazing stuff 
about this pack. So I need to just find the correct grab for us. It may take me a while because there are so many fantastic ones here. I would guess the Log Grabber Extra is what we're going to be looking for here. Because uh, we've got the extra width, we're going to be loading up some fairly big logs, some fairly long logs. So yeah, let's go for this one here. It's very expensive, but obviously it's going to be worth it as... Um, Cracky, so many different attaches, it's fantastic. Yeah, as we do need to load up some fairly chunky things and we, we want to do it properly. We do not want to be messing around, trying to pick them up forever, and then when we do finally get them on the fork, they sort of fall off. <laughs> because that's not very good. Hopefully we can avoid all of that with this very high quality mod. Yeah, I really have heard a lot of good stuff about these mods. The CS Zed pack. So if you want to get it, it is on Mod Hub. I'll put the link below. Okay, so hopefully this is all going to fit on here, alright. Uh, it should do, there we go, yep, perfect. So I'm hoping as well that with the bigger front loader, we're going to be able to get a bit higher and a bit closer to the trailer. A bit higher above the trailer and all that kind of stuff, just to make life easier. But there it is. Yeah, I think you can instantly tell it's better than the single grab, which you get in the base game. It's all right. the The single grab is okay. I mean, you, it works. It does work. Um, but I have had a lot of trouble with it before. I've got to say though, the the base game wheel loader grab is actually fantastic. Never had any problems with that. It is just the one for the front loader, which does seem to be a bit troublesome. I think it is just because it is a single grab. The other one is not so much as a double grab but it is much wider so yeah it's uh, just the front loader one that's where I pulled out before that's where we're going to so let's cut some trees down and load some logs up we could use the axe I suppose because we are only going to cut them down hopefully with the axe um, I don't know well, we'll give it a go a chainsaw is a thousand pounds and I do like the axe we might do half and half I suppose, yeah, taking the foliage off too, taking the branches off, that does take a while if you're doing it with the axe, so yeah. Possibly it will be time for a chainsaw. So yeah, here we are. Which tree should we, get, shall we go for first? This one here? Come on, mighty axe. Yeah, I need to just find the sweet spot too. To be able to cut it down. You know what, actually, I don't know, I might get the chainsaw straight away. Oh, nope. That's working well. Very good. So it's probably going to fall to our left hand side. Hopefully it does do. Otherwise it's going to fall actually onto the Unimog. It's going to flip up. Oh, that was close. Yeah, so that's, that's pretty good. At least now we can do this. I think somebody said in the previous episode when I did this, uh, they said... Uh, I never knew Farming Simulator would turn into Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I've got to say, I have never played Minecraft, ever. I've seen a few videos of it, but I've never played it in my life. Am I missing something? I guess, as it is so popular, I'm going to get a lot of people saying, yeah, you're missing something. <laughs> but we'll find out. I'll be uh, looking forward to reading the comments section later. Right. So there it is. Um, I should think we'll be cutting in half. Although, yeah, I think we will be. We'll be cutting in half. So that's it done. Because it's a big trailer, but obviously it's not like massive. It can't take an entire tree. So I'll pick it up, and then I think we'll probably cut it in half from there. Can we even get underneath like this? Oh, yeah, almost. Come on. Yes! That's something you can't do with the base game grab. So we're going to do half from here. Okay, the axe is getting carried away. We'll do it from there. That should be fine. So we do have other jobs to do on the farm. We have to fertilise as well. Um, but I'm just trying to do something different because I have done quite a bit of uh, fertilising recently. We have to do it, but I might do it off screen. Failing that, it might be a time lapse. 
So, yeah, as you can already see, it's much heavier on the right-hand side. That could have been avoided. Um, ideally, the right-hand side wants to go closest to the Unimog, but I'm facing completely the wrong way, so I might even move the trailer just to make things easier. And any off-cuts or anything like that can go in the back of the Unimog. Because, uh, yeah, it's just excess space, basically. I want to be fairly straight, because if I'm not straight, it might make it harder. But, yeah, you can see the front loader's lifting up really high. That does make it easier. Okay. Got to do this in one. Yeah, yeah, I say that, but I don't think I'm going to. It's got a funny angle. Oh, that's better. Okay, let's lift up. Come on. Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> that could have gone much better. Okay, so what I need to do is try and grab it again if I can do. Might be a bit tricky. But I need to draw it back and then push it in. That's the way to do it. Maybe a little rough, but it works. So I don't really want to have overhang. I might even cut those overhang ones off at the end. Um, looking at it, I might have put it in the wrong way still. Not sure, but either way, um, it should be fine. But yeah, any overhang we might throw into the back of the Unimog just to uh, reduce any danger. Wow, good job the tree was there. And again, this is going to be going in the wrong way. Not the right approach. That should help. All turned around. So I'm sure everybody in the UK at least, in those areas which have been hot, have thoroughly been enjoying this warmer weather. Hopefully it is warm where you are, but I know that some places around the world, uh, which would normally be fairly warm at this time of year, is still pretty cold. Um, which is a shame. But I think, yeah, it's, even in England it's going to cool down again. I think we've got about 27 where I am. Um, London got like 28, 29-ish. Incredible stuff. That was yesterday, of course. I'm recording this the day before. Yesterday for you. But here goes the next tree. Uh, uh, it's probably going to hit the tractor. Better just reverse it out of the way. Right. Resume cutting. I know a lot of people do like forestry, so that's why I'm doing it today. Okay, is that going to do it? Yep. Oh no, it's coming my way. Still. Not a bad landing. Let's take some of these branches off. Again, that's the difference as well between this and the chainsaw. I think it only takes it off one side. Although, it looks like I might have done that fairly well. Okay, yep. Let's leave it there. I think if the odd piece gets through, it really doesn't matter at all. Tractor! Right, let's get this thing loaded. i try and do it a bit better this time. Um, for starters, if I drive around this side first... The heavier end should go into the trailer first. That's a tree. Don't crash into the tree. But I think we can all see already that the uh, the CSZ grab is much easier to use. Straight underneath there. The tractor can just about do it without a rear weight. So, yeah, good job we didn't buy one. There we go. That's all cut. And actually, that's fairly balanced as well. So let's make our way over to the trailer. And try and get it up against the bulkhead, if we can do. A bit concerns that smaller piece from before is going to fall out. I'm going to continue with the time lapse in a second. Uh, but yeah, I really do want to get this trailer fairly full, if not totally full. 
Yeah, that's the thing. If you get something like that, it's uh, it does mess it up a bit. So we have to somehow persuade it back in, but without knocking the others out, which can be tricky. Surprisingly tricky. Well, it got a bit challenging at times, but it is getting much fuller. Um, I would say weight-wise, it is going to be extremely heavy. Uh, we've got some to put in the back here. That at least will ballast down the Unimog a bit to be able to pull it out of here. Um, but I don't know how much further to go. Obviously, we've got such an overhang here. It's like the capacity of the trailer is extended so much. Uh, so that is probably already overweight. But I am just going to push it one tree further. Just because I'm like that. <laughs> it's always good to cram it in. Right, so here we go. And yeah, we've done the whole thing so far with an axe, without a chainsaw. Which uh, in itself is quite impressive. It saved us an extra £1,000 anyway. And these trees should be worth quite a bit of money. Oh, oh, it's a magic tree. Well, I'm sure we can uh, nudge it with the front loader. But yeah, absolutely loving the, uh, the the log grab. Very, very good. Ah, oh, yeah, the tree stumps. They're going to have to be uh, stump ground, I think. We'll have to get the stump grinder. Right, that can go that way. Now we just have to take the foliage off again. Which is actually quite a satisfying job. And then, yeah, we'll just cut it in half and uh, load them both up. After this, we then need to cut those pieces to size, which are going to go into the back of the Unimog. And then it'll be time to take it over to the uh, the crane again, which I absolutely failed with last time. It was an absolute disaster. So we'll see how we go this time. Hopefully, it doesn't go too badly. But yeah, last time it was, it was terrible, basically. If you didn't see it, I don't advise looking for the video which it's in. If you must know which video it's in, it's the one about being a lumberjack basically. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't advise watching it. Not often I say that. Okay, you can watch it, but I just I just don't advise it. Right. Let's go and take this over to the Unimog. Um, actually, the same thing might happen with the crane today, so, yeah. You might be about to experience the same thing all over again. We're doing all right without a rear weight. It's incredible. It's a full tree. I'm going to have to cut it about here. So chances are we're going to have to drop it off. Yep. And then pick it up again. Just so it's a bit more centred. There we go. But yeah, I think this is probably pushing it. It really is, actually. You can tell it's overweight. I really like that the, uh, the the grab itself has got an extra camera on it, so you can see the camera we're on at the moment is uh, indeed for the grab. Oh, it doesn't stop me from crashing into stuff though. A miracle would stop that. 
Right. Okay, so that's gonna hopefully fall into place. Come on, fall into place. Oh, crikey. I'm gonna have to go around the other side and give it a nudge. It's the only thing for it. Oh, it's it's very rough. I suppose with all these trees close to us, that's why you'd have a forestry setup. A forestry setup tractor. Because uh, there is a lot of potential to damage this one. We have no cage or anything. Come on. Yes. It's in. Right. The final piece. Let's get it loaded. That, that's a tree I've just crashed into. Yeah, I forget what each tree is worth, but I know it is a fair bit. It's probably over a thousand pounds a tree. And then we've got these offcuts as well. Oh. But yeah, it's going to add up to quite a bit. Not that we need the money. But if you can pay for the front loader and stuff, that would be brilliant. Okay, so that is the majority of it done. Now just for these pieces. I think I'm just going to cut them in half, basically. Uh, we can use the axe for this as well. Sometimes it takes a little while just to find the, uh, the cutting area. There it is. Get it cut in half. We'll throw them in the back. And we'll unload them by hand as well. The rest of it though, I'm hoping to do with the crane, because it is obviously absolutely gigantic. You can't really be picking them up by hand. Uh, yes, that could have gone a bit better. Anyway, I get this sorted out, and I'll see you in a second. Come on. Get in. Oh! I've been knocked out by a tree. And there we have it. Looking a bit overloaded. Look what the trailer is doing to the Unimog. It is in a bit of a dip there, but still. It's, uh, it's looking a bit precarious. I'll put the tractor here for the time being, but no, I've got to say, that grab is quite something. We need to, yeah, before we leave, we need to strap things in. So if we do this one first, uh, probably three straps if we can do. That one doesn't work. Uh, oh, there we go. Just because I was uh, crouching down. One over there, one over there. There, we don't need too many. Obviously it has to be sufficient. That will do. That should be fine. Right. The big pull. I can feel it struggling. The front wheels are off the ground. Therefore I can't turn. Ah, it's somebody's crop. Oh, it's our crop. Typical. So yeah, my suspicions were correct. It, it is indeed overloaded. It's probably more the overhang though which is causing this. So if I can't turn, what I'll do is I'll cut some of the overhang and throw it into the back of the Unimog instead. Which will help. Even though the weight will still be at the back, it will still help. That is um, that is quite something. We need independent brakes or something to be able to turn. Yep, we've definitely got air on that. Inspection time. Yeah, we can inspect everything from under here. Like I said before, it's not really the safest way of doing it, but it is one way of jacking up the machine. And uh, I suppose it's another way of actually uh, looking at the construction of the mod as well. And luckily, it's been designed well. Because that really would give it away. You can see absolutely everything in here. There's the engine. Oh, it's actually running. We probably shouldn't go in there. So let's get the axe out once again. It's probably the time when you'd expect to get a chainsaw out. But no, we're going to get the axe out. And we're going to start axing. Believe it or not. And we'll throw these in the back. I suppose failing that, we could actually throw them in the front of the trailer, just to counterbalance a bit. I'm sure that's all it is, it's just because the trailer is uh, so long, or what we've got in the trailer is so long. So it's just making it a little bit hard. It's quite fun really, just sitting here watching the axe go. Right, so we're making a nice sharp edge here. Next. Try and keep them fairly straight. And I think there is one more left here before we finish. Or before we start to move them. How many of these are movable by hand? Uh, precisely zero. Tractor time. It's a good job 
we didn't get too far. In fact, we got 100 yards, not far at all. I suppose that is kind of expected when you have absolutely no steering. So I'm just going to try and grab the whole lot. It's a good test for the grab, actually, to see if we can pick up a large amount. I won't try and rush it, though. I'll get as square as we can do. Get right underneath them. And we might have to grab at the same time. Oh, yes, right. Ah, oh, no. Spoke too soon. Typical. Yeah, I think I'll try and put them in the front of the trailer. It should really help to balance things off a bit. Okay, that's another one gone. Uh, in the trailer. There we go. That should really help. Uh, especially when all the others are in too. Actually, that can go in here. Well... One thing's for sure, that makes the trailer look even more full. Um, but yeah, I think, yep, the wheels have gone down at the front, so that's definitely helped. Uh, and hopefully this time we can actually get to the uh, lumber yard. We'll see. I mean, we might, not, we might not get there. That might fall off. It has done. Joy. Um, but yep, one day we may get there. I think I'll just cut them up into pieces, and we might even be able to slot them in here anyway. Yeah, you can even see that just putting that on there is really counterbalancing the whole trailer. Don't even think about falling off again. Oh, crikey. It's the heat. It's getting to me. Right, you, you stay right there. Yes, yes, that's right. You stay there, and um, we better just strap the one in the back of here on too. There we go, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll turn the fence engine off and we'll put the front loader down. It's a good job it was still here. Right. Take two. Ah, much better. Fantastic. That's very good. Yeah, so I think I'm fairly close to my prediction of this being extremely heavy. I don't think that's light at all. Wood is so heavy. And this isn't even anything like oak. It is just pine, so it's probably one of the lightest we could be carrying. Not a bad haul, though, for one day, and especially as I've been messing around so much. Uh, yes, I mustn't forget the turning. I think it's this one here. Do the indicators work on here? They do. Very good. So, dare I use the crane? I don't know. Oh yeah, which is way in anyway? Is this way in? Probably. Whichever registers. I think that's way out. That is way out. You see, I, I probably shouldn't read all the comments because I can remember somebody saying that I went on the wrong one when I came in. I went on this one over here, but no, this is this is the right one. So, hmm, whoever you are. <laughs> right, what's that showing? 10.8 uh, tons. Wow. I could just very simply drive into the trigger, but that is so boring. I'll park next to it. I'll park here. It's actually bouncing as well because it's so heavy. Uh, although, yeah, we can do... I want to put the sides down. There we go. We can do these. We should take the straps off. See what they're worth. They are very big. £212. £157. £94. Okay, I'm going to shut up because that's going to get really annoying. Uh, this must be small. Hmm. Or cheap. Oh. Yeah, you can fly on the logs too if you uh, if you do it correctly. I probably shouldn't, but it's very tempting. Oh, I've accidentally sold it. Oh well. Well, if you've never seen flying on a log, 
you just have to go back in one of my old videos, or yeah, just cut a tree down in Farming Simulator. You'll soon figure it out. Right. Time for a bit of expert work. That's a joke. Right, so, try and do this properly. That's open and close, and that is higher and lower. The grab, as I discovered before, is much bigger than I thought. That's good. Right, so we'll go for the whole thing, basically hug the trailer, and we'll see how we go. It's going to explode. Get over there. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Oh, and some good money there too. Uh, right, the central ones, the biggest ones, they are going to have to be picked up as much in the middle as they can be. So, way over here. And then across here. And then we'll go down. Oh, that's up. And we'll go across. Uh, about there. I would have thought. Don't want to grab the trailer. Uh, yes. Yes. Look at that. We're all proud of you. I'm sure you are. I'm sure nobody is. Right, let's drop it out. Oh, I almost picked them up again. And yeah, we got a, one of them was 2,334. Unless it was two together, which it probably was. Uh, we actually have a hanger on. Come on. It's okay. You're only going to be turned into, I don't know, a table or something. You're probably not, actually. You're too skinny. Well, you might be. Who knows? Right. Precision. Which I am delightfully failing at. Come on. I'm going to break the trailer in a minute. Ah, that would do. Right. Get across. Uh, 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 no escaping. Don't break my grab. Just go. 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 You've gone. The most hard £698 we've ever had to make. What a very annoying log. Anyway, we've done. We've done our full nest crane. We've done everything today. So what do you think? What do you think to what I've done? Please do let me know. Oh, crikey. Thank you for watching. And uh, until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.